what's happened to BC Spirits? BC Spirits, Spirit of Day number 252. Um, I got something very special today. I'm actually really excited about this. Like, I've got goosebumps thinking about tasting this today. Um, I don't get a lot of this because this man's whiskey sell out so freaking quick at the at the distillery that they rarely get to my little island on into the West Coast. Uh, I'm talking about Douglas in uh, Oliver. Steve Lead makes uh, obviously Noteworthy Gin, which is very, very popular. I love the Navy Strength. Uh, I love the Navy Strength Noteworthy 120%. Um, I've done some cocktails. This bottle came specifically signed for him. Now, a lot of people have been going like, oh, you're going to crack a bottle that's been signed. The whiskey's not going to change the bottle. I keep the bottle signed, put it up on my thing once I've emptied the bottle, but the whiskey inside needs to be drunk. I understand why you keep a bottle that's signed, but whiskey's meant to be drunk, and the person who signed it wants you to drink their whiskey. So this is the very, um, the lockdown. Um, what it actually says, how many bottles? One of 325. Pretty much all of Steve Lee's whiskeys are about that three, th 250 to 350 bottles per expression. So obviously people in Oliver just love his stuff. So obviously it sells out super quick. Um, so I'm very, very grateful to Steve Lee for sending me a bottle for Christmas. Um, thank you to everybody who sent me little bottles for Christmas. I really appreciate it. It um, makes it all worthwhile because there's a lot of times where, when you do BC Spirits, um, you don't feel like the distilleries are actually paying any attention whatsoever to anything that you're doing. And when you've done 250 odd of these plus major tastings, plus blog posts, plus everything, it gets a little weary. Um, this is 100% bourbon oak. Um, sorry, 100% ex-bourbon American oak. Let me slow down a little bit there and take my words properly. I've got a whole bunch of small little samples from him that I'm going to be tasting on the show in the coming weeks. But this one, I, you know, like this is pretty atypical single malt aged in, in bourbon barrels, but... I think it's going to be very different for Steve Lee. Always aged no less than three years. Obviously, 46% alcohol because he does like his little... His alcohol concept being up there a little bit. And he's not wrong. Oh. I think there's been a lot of distilleries who have really gone back to finding good quality bourbon barrels. This is the thing. I'm going to talk about ex-bourbon and all that sort of stuff. Like American whiskey is a category. Those ex-bourbon barrels can get sent to a, a distillery that uses it just for American whiskey. Like that doesn't have a Kentucky logo on it or a, a straight bourbon. It's just American whiskey and they can get used like a tea bag. Um, so I think a lot of stills are really going back to finding the, the really nice, really still structured ex-bourbon barrels. And you can smell this on the nose straight away. You're getting that beautiful sweetness. That American oak is just like really coming through nicely. And then you're getting that beautiful grain structure, that single malt grain structure. I've tasted enough Douglas. I've got that little terroir note in my head. I haven't tasted enough that's really sunk in, so I'm gonna have to taste a lot of this bottle to really get that sunken terroir note. Oh. Super creamy on the palate. Big vanillas, huge corn bomb. Oh, that vanilla is huge, spicy, oaky vanilla. Fantastic. He only doubles and stills his single malts, um, which means that gives, keeps a whole bunch of really good structure. This is a fantastic structural single malt. And then the vanilla and the oak, and that little bit of spice comes through. This is a really great sipper. You know, it's called lockdown, and I really think that's what it is. It's a whiskey you can just drink every night and not feel guilty about. Fantastic little number. Big and bold, but still super approachable. That vanilla just keeps going on and on and on. But that's it. Douglas, the lockdown. Um, I'm going to be tasting a whole bunch from him, so keep watching. Thanks as always for the support, guys. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.